We are here for the announcement of the Wiz Wyatt Squirt Player of the Year. We're lucky enough to have Wiz Wyatt himself here in studio. Great to be here, Tony. Thanks for seeing, making it here today. Um, great to see you again on an annual basis. We get to hook up and hand out these awards to these great players. Oh, I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, always, it's always fun to see you. Um, what is your greatest memory? This is all about youth hockey. What's your greatest yeah. memory as a youth hockey player growing up? Well, you know, Tony, as you get a little older, the, the memories uh, begin to fade a little bit. But I will say uh, certain things uh, remain crystal clear. And for me, it was playing hockey down the Lake of the Isles on a cold day in January or February, and just the sheer joy of playing hockey. And I uh, just loved it as a kid, passionate about it. I still enjoy it, uh, but that's what I really remember. I remember playing up to five on the outside of the rink, and one of the big boys were playing on the inside rink and being, right. the, being the outside I kid. I remember it too. Do you remember your first time ever when you got invited to go inside the rink and play with the big boys? Yeah, I was uh, sixth grade. And, uh, <laughs> Same with me, and so right that was there. A, that was a big deal. Uh, and it uh, wasn't checking at that time, but yet if you got too frisky, uh, the big guys would turn on you and kind of put you back in your place. Oh, so yeah. All remember, those learnings. Uh, I remember, remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. It was like it was yesterday. Yeah, that's great. All right, let's talk about uh, uh, this year's winners. Uh, last year, we obviously gave it to Brock Faber from OMG. Yeah. What a fantastic kid. Wonderful young guy. And uh, a great award winner. Uh, Brock helped OMG to a perfect record last year at Squirts, this year's finalists. Our Ryan Chesley from Matamidi, a fleet-footed skater who's also a great soccer player and golfer. Dylan Godbout from Woodbury, a great two-way player that excels in the classroom and is a great baseball and soccer player in Woodbury. Tyler Haskins from Rochester. Tyler was a fun player to watch on the ice, but was most impressed with his ability to be a great leader on a great team. Logan Seward from Andover. Logan's a hard-nosed centerman who is also a catalyst for the Huskies as they won their last four tournaments of the year en route to the YHH staff ranking number one. Logan is also a great student and star football player in Andover. Finally, Jimmy Snuggerud from Chaska Chanhassen. Jimmy's a gifted athlete that shows sign of spectacular just about every time he hits the ice. He's a great baseball player and was a quiet leader this year for the Stormhawks, where he played everywhere except in the Nets. This year's Wizwat Player of the Year is Tyler Haskins from Rochester. Come on in, Tyler. Congratulations. Tyler, nice going. Thank you. That's wonderful. What an amazing hockey player you were, Tyler, this year. We got a chance to see you and your team uh, play some of the most dramatic hockey games in squirtacular history. You had two games back-to-back -back that we will never forget. Obviously, the game where you beat Edina in a barrage of goals that you guys scored late in the game, which is fun to watch. And then, obviously, uh, the heartbreaking loss in the semifinals and a shootout uh, to Osseo Maple Grove. Uh, congratulations on winning Thank you. the award. What was it like when you woke up this morning in Rochester, finding out that you won the award, A, and B, you were going to get to come up to the Twin Cities and get the award? Um, it felt great to be recognized with all these great hockey players. And... Just to, it's an honor to win the award. Oh, great, great. Um, anyone you want to thank besides obviously your parents and Bob, mm -hmm. who is your coach uh, out there, who want to for winning this award? I want to thank all the coaches and teammates and players that have helped me develop through the years and become the hockey player that I am today. Oh, great, great. All right. So, what was it like having Bob Haskins, your dad, as the coach this year? Um, I've watched him coach uh, all year long when I saw you guys play. What a calming influence he seemed to your kids. What a great teacher of the game. What's it like having a guy like that as your dad and then also as the coach? It's great. He pushes you and he's a great coach and it's, it's good to spend extra time with him and go to all these tournaments and games with him. You get all the time that your other siblings don't get to because of that during the season, don't you? Yeah. That's pretty special. That's pretty special. Uh, so tell me a story that you think back what a great season Rochester Red had this year. Tell me one story that you won't forget is, you know, when you get to be as old as, as Wiz and I are someday. Um, it was great to score the game winning goal in the end over game to beat the number one ranked team to beat them. They haven't lost any of the games. I left that one out of the dramatic games in the Squirtacular, didn't I? What, <laughs> that was another amazing game. <laughs> Uh, down the stretch, Wiz. It was an amazing game. They were, it was, it was a, they were both winning, vying for the uh, to get into bracket play. Here are two of the best teams in the state that got paired against each other, and it was a one to nothing game. And Tyler, 
put the game away, and there was a oh, there was a debated call at the end of the game. There was just constant drama. There was drama in their Edina game. Yeah. There was drama in their Osmi Grove game. Went into a shootout. I mean, I can't believe the people from Rochester what they went through that weekend. But I'm sure they got their money's worth, right? Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit. So. Tell me a little bit about that game, that, that, that Andover game. What was your memory, obviously scoring, but what, was, what did it feel like to play in a heated environment like that where both teams and all the fans were going crazy? Oh, it's, it's just fun to play in all those great games where it's so close and you just want to get that final goal. And just to beat that team was amazing. Yeah, it was. They were number one in the state. They ended up, ended up being number one in the state, but it was a big win for Rochester and a, a big calling card for your guys this season. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Tyler, on winning the award. Thanks, Wiz, for you coming bet, in. You bet, Tony. Tyler, great job. Thank you. Yeah, great you season bet. for you.